I'm Brian, and the screen is really dark. I'm Brian, and this is Duck River Homestead. I want to thank you so much for joining us today as we work on the electrical system. I wanted to talk a little bit today about doing hard things. It would be easy to take the easy route. I've always went the hard route for some reason. I don't know. Uh, I always wanted to take the scenic route, the route that t would take a little bit longer, uh, that I'd be able to enjoy a little bit more. And maybe there's something about the harder route or the harder things that bring more joy over time. Uh, maybe they, I don't know, it's because they challenge you maybe. Uh, it's not cookie cutter. It's not what everybody else is doing. I don't know, maybe there's some emotional baggage or something, a chip on my shoulder that causes me to do that. I don't know. Uh, but I've always chosen the hard route. Uh, I've run my own businesses before. It would have been easier to just go work for somebody else. Um, I learned a lot that way. Uh, I wasn't particularly uh, successful in running my own businesses, but I was able to learn an incredible amount by choosing to do the hard things, going the scenic route, right? A long time ago, I learned how to work on cars. I apprenticed under a mechanic in Arizona where I lived for about 10 years. And um, I learned how to fix cars, diagnose cars. Um, before that, uh, my father taught me electronics, uh, how to work with solder, uh, resistors, capacitors. He taught me things like Ohm's Law, stuff like that. I started doing that when I was seven. Uh, started working on cars when I was 13 or 14. And uh, like I said, I had apprenticed under uh, a guy named Frank. Um, every time I go back to Arizona, I make a point to uh, go say hi to him, visit him and his family. And um, ideally, I like to go and, and spend a day working with him. It doesn't always work. Um, oftentimes, we'll, um, he has, he's a pilot as well. And uh, sometimes we'll, we'll fly um, in his plane somewhere. Uh, like we went up to Sedona for lunch one day, which was amazing. Uh, that's off topic. Started my own auto repair business. Uh, I became ASC certified in engine electrical, um, brakes, powertrain, um, I think engine, engine performance. Um, and all this to say, I was, uh, I was scared of doing house electric, um, and I don't know what it was about it, but there was, maybe it was because it was uh, alternating current versus uh, direct current. Um, I understood DC, I understood uh, you know, small electronics, microelectronics, whatever you want to call them, but there was something scary about house electronics. And true to form, I choose hard things to do. And I, when we got our house, uh, when we bought our house here in Tennessee, um, I started off with just simple, something simple like wiring a switch. And I realized, wow, this is actually easy. What's funny is I was so afraid of it, and I don't I don't know why. And just facing the fear of doing something difficult um, compared to compared to small electronics, car electronics, where you're dealing with hundreds, maybe thousands of wires. Working on car, working on a house wiring is so easy it's it's what I would call like the uh, it's like playing with blocks 
uh, compared to playing with Legos. You know, you're just stacking things on top of each other, whereas Legos might be more along the lines of, you know, working on cars. And uh, I worked my way up from, you know, changing a, a light switch out to, um, you know, a smart switch or a smart dimmer. Uh, then I moved on to wiring a light, you know, above the sink, wiring multiple outlets, uh, adding um, tube lighting to the garage, things like that. And the more I worked on it, you know, the more I learned, um, and I guess the easier it got. Let's fast forward to today. I'm building out our power infrastructure for the property, and um, that's a little daunting, right? I've never worked with setting up meters or um, running, um, you know, 100 feet, foot lines of 4 rod cable to transformers, and um, the easy thing to do would just be call, to call a, uh, an electrician. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. If you want to call an electrician to do your electrical work, do it. <laughs> um, don't take chances. And um, the thing is, I know that this is also going to be um, inspected and it will be failed if it's not right. Um, I still need to uh, verify 100% that uh, the right wires are going to the right places. Um, I make, gotta make sure that I'm uh, grounded properly. Um, all of those things, right? And um, I will be going over wiring diagrams, so if you see anything wrong, just let me know and uh, point it out. All that to say, do hard things. Don't take the easy route. Um, take a course in electronics if you, if you want. Um, shoot, look it up on Google and on, uh, on YouTube. Um, this is not a DIY um, how-to channel, so don't do what I'm doing in this case. I might be doing it wrong. Like I said, we're going to get it checked out to make sure that it is right. But do those hard things. What are you not doing right now? What is that one thing that you're too scared to do? Is it, I don't know, picking up the guitar? Are you afraid of the amount of work that it's going to take to learn how to play guitar? Um, are you afraid of not being good? Well, guess what? You're not going to be good. Um, that's part of learning. That's part of doing hard things is you're not going to be good at it. Um, if you pay attention to this video, look how many days this is taking me. Uh, this is the first time I've set up a meter base and a panel or a sub panel. Um, never done it before. And I'm doing a lot of research on it. Um, I'm buying the wrong things. I'm having to go back and get the right things. Um, all the while I'm, you know, going to the, to the local electric, electric, electric supply store. Um, you know, I walk in, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, sometimes I feel a little bit stupid asking questions. Uh, cause I know that they're dealing with pros all day long and I'm not, I'm not particularly a pro, right? And part of doing hard things is getting over, getting over yourself, right? Um, guess what? Nobody cares if you don't know what you're talking about. Nobody cares. Um, sure, they might laugh at you for a second, but so? That doesn't hurt anything. Um, in fact, most of the time, people will say, oh, uh, let me try to help you out instead of laughing at you. I'd say 90% of the time, that's gonna, 95% of the time, um, every once in a while, you're gonna get somebody that uh, has low self-esteem uh, and doesn't think highly of themselves that's gonna try to make you feel bad to make themselves feel better. Um, but just do it. Go for it. Let me know in the comments what you are, are holding yourself back from. What blessing has God wanted to give you? 
that you're saying, no, I'm too afraid to try. Um, let me encourage you to take that first step. It might not be to go, let's say if it's, you know, learning how to play guitar, you don't have to um, go buy a guitar right now. F try to find a friend that has to play, that knows how to play guitar and ask if they would tell you a little bit about how to play guitar. Um, maybe they'll take you to the store. That way you have somebody there that knows what they're talking about. Um, do this in community. Don't just do it alone. Um, a lot of what I'm doing in this build is with community. It's with friends that have done this before or know what they're doing. And I'll, you know, call my my brother-in-law, um, who's a plumber, and ask for advice on, you know, running plumbing. Um, I have friends, a lot of friends that are electricians. Um, when you're doing these hard things, don't just do them by yourself. There's no, there's no need to, you're not a hero. Don't try to be the hero. Um, if you're trying to do hard things by yourself, you're gonna get burnt out. You're gonna quit. I mean, you might quit. You're gonna to want to quit, that's for sure. Sometimes it takes a lot longer when you're doing the hard things than if you were to do it the easy way. some chickens back here somewhere not entirely sure where they are speaking of hard things never owned chickens before and now we do we'll uh, have a video on that shortly today is the first day we're letting them out on their uh, on their own and uh, they've been sticking around by the coop um, yeah Come here, chicka chicka chickies. Oh, they're there. They're uh, right back there. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we'd really appreciate it if you would uh, hit the like button. If you're getting any value of this uh, series, hit subscribe. We're really looking forward to spending more time with you as we build out our homestead. Thanks for watching. Do hard things.